Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you why angles subtended by the same arc at the circumference are equal. So basically why this angle up here using the black lines and this angle up here using the black lines are equal. Now to show that this over here is going to be true we first need to form another circle and we need to show that the angle up here at the circumference using this blue and green line, okay, is going to be half the angle at the center of this circle over here. So let's say we have an angle up here using the blue and green line, right? Uh, this angle over here using the red lines at the center of this circle is going to be double the angle up here. If we can show this, then we can show that the other theorem is true. So how do we show that the angle up here is half the angle at the center of this circle over here? Well, firstly, we're going to name these red lines over here R. Okay. And if this line over here is equal to R and this line over here is equal to R, then this triangle on the left is an isosceles triangle, okay? And we can name the angle over here A, and we can also label the angle over here A, okay? And this angle over here is going to be pi minus 2A, okay? Because pi radians is the same as 180 degrees. So we're just subtracting these two angles over here from 180 degrees to get this angle over here. Now, this triangle to the right is also going to be an isosceles triangle. Okay, so we can name the angle up here B, and we can name the angle down here B. This means that this angle over here is going to be pi minus 2B. Okay, now since we have this angle over here and this angle over here, we can actually find this angle over here below because we're going to subtract this and this from 360 degrees or 2 pi radians. Okay, so let's subtract these two angles over here from 2 pi. So we have 2 pi minus pi minus 2a minus pi minus 2b. This will give us 2 pi minus pi plus 2a minus pi plus 2b. Okay, so from here we get 2 pi minus pi minus pi, which is 0. So we can cross these out. So we're left with 2a plus 2b, and we can factorize this, okay, to 2 times a plus b in brackets. So this angle over here is going to be 2 times a plus b. But since this angle up here is a plus b, that means that the angle at the center has to be double this angle over here at the top. OK, because we've got 2 times A plus B. OK, now since we know this, it's going to be fairly simple to show that this angle up here using the black lines and this angle up here using the black lines are equal. OK, we're going to show that the angles subtended by the same arc at the circumference. So we're looking at this arc over here are equal, okay? So these angles up here are going to be equal. So let's call this angle over here x, okay? Because of this theorem to the left over here, we know that this angle over here is going to be 2x, right? Double this angle up here. Now let's call this angle over here y. If that is the case, because of the theorem to the left, this angle over here is also going to be equal to 2y. Okay, and we can see this is the case because of these red lines over here. These are the radiuses of this circle. 
Okay, so what we're left with is 2x is equal to 2y. So let's write this down as an equation. 2x is equal to 2y. Now, if we divide both sides by 2, like so, we're going to end up with x is equal to y. Okay, because 2 over 2 is simply equal to 1. 1 times x is x, or 1 times y is y. All right, so we've shown that x is equal to y in this case, and that the angle subtended by the same arc, which is this arc over here, at the circumference are equal. Okay, so these two angles over here are actually equal. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. For more content like this, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and also check out mathematics.proofs on Instagram. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time.